Welcome to Microsoft Dynamics NAV Toffee Mug Tutorials. I'm Johannes Goodnesson, founder of Enecta, a Microsoft Gold certified partner. Using a coffee mug as an example, I'll show you how to create items, purchase orders, sales orders, manage inventory, and much more. So go ahead and grab your own cup of joe and let's get started. Hello and welcome to the uh, Coffee Mark Tutorials. Today what I wanted to show is the integration to Excel and uh, you know how Nav can interact with Excel. There are many ways that Excel um, can connect but uh, this particular way is really cool and very kind of snazzy uh, and very very easy to set up. So um, my problem that I have is that I, I want to show the customer list in Excel with the balance information and credit limits and uh, I want to be able to easily update that list in Excel so uh, uh, this tool or this little feature actually perfectly solves that problem so let me go ahead and go here into the customer list uh, if I can spell it customers uh, now here I can see my customer list and I have actually tailored my page to only show the columns that I want to see in Excel. Now I can basically choose columns by right clicking here and going into choose columns and pick the ones that I want. I've already done that so it's sort of like the baking show where you have your ingredients ready and the dough magically appears. However this one was fairly easy to set up. Now. What I want to do is filter the balance to non-zero entries. Um, in order to do that, I just go up to filter right here. So I select the filter from this screen and type in less than more than zero. Less than more than means not. And so I don't want to see zeros. Uh, and then I have it now. Now I've immediately updates the list only showing the non-zero entries. So now I want to print this into Excel. Now I go up to this button over here that's kind of hidden uh, that we normally use to set the work date, select server and go into different companies, etc. But I can go here into print and send and pick uh, Excel. I could have also hit just control E. Uh, and what happens is that Excel, which I have right here and I'll open up, will open up with a uh, page or with a sheet uh, populated from the page in NAV. And it has the filters that we applied and all the data in a nice table format. And it also tells me what, which company it came from, what was the date uh, and the time. So this is really cool. Uh, and now I immediately have the data inside Excel in a nice format. However, what happens if the data changes in NAV? Um, how can we update the data in here without actually going through this exercise again and again? So there is a nice trick to that. Um, let's just make a note that the Canon group has a $168,000 uh, balance. And so I want to post a sales order there to increase that balance by 10,000. So I go back in here, I go into my sales orders. Um, and then I hit new and I could have set this up beforehand but it's so quick to make a sales order in AV that we just quickly go through it standard coffee mug right here out of the blue location so what we're gonna do is sell a thousand yeah for ten dollars okay uh, it gave me all kinds of warnings, but we just passed through that. Now I have already set up the approval uh, approvals in NAV. So I actually have to send an approval request to release this. Uh, and it's already released. Normally I would release it over here. This is just before I post. I will cover the approvals in a, another video. So now we want to go ahead and post this. 
ship an invoice and it completes it and out the door it goes so if I go into the customers right now and click on that I can see the Canon group is 178,000 now the balance it's increased by 10,000 if I go into my Excel sheet I can see that it's 168,000 so it's missing 10,000 but of course it was updated um, a few minutes ago so it's missing the information from uh, you know from the last posting so what I can do is go here into Dynamics Nav this is something that gets installed with uh, the client if you select it in the installation so it will actually add this little component um, up in Excel which says refresh um, I can then go ahead and just hit refresh and notice that the time stamp got updated and now we have hundred and seventy eight thousand dollars in the um, balance for the Canon group so technically uh, we can set up this printout from a page uh, and then just be updating that and pulling some information from this table into other sheets etc uh, and just hitting refresh um, so this is an excellent little feature inside NAV that was it thank you mm -hmm.